All right, there it is, the 2022 Cougar 29 BHS. That's a stands for bunkhouse, and we're gonna take a look at this beautiful travel trailer, beautiful Cougar uh, travel trailer, which a lot of people aren't aware how nice they are inside. You see how nice it is outside. It's got that solid step there. You can see it makes a great, great platform for entering and exiting the vehicle. The 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 uh, RV. It's got a. Uh, it is a vehicle, recreational vehicle. That's what it is. So it is a vehicle. And uh, here is the grab handle. You can grab that as you go up the uh, stairs. This one's got a big old awning here with two stereo speakers. See those beautiful, I said beautiful already. Those are stylish alloy wheels. And then here is a uh, little outdoor kitchen with the Capitol Grill. That's where I recommend eating. If you're not sure, go to the Capitol Grill right here at your campground. There's a fridge here. All right. Got an outdoor shower. This has got a rear entry that goes into the bathroom. The steps fold down there. Hey, look at this. It's got a back door. Oh, that's nice. You could fold that bunk up right there. You could put a kayak in here. You could put bicycles in this room. They would fit in here, but a kayak would fit all the way through there. A long one. You have a 14-foot kayak. I think you'd be all right. I have to measure it. If you, before you buy this one, if you're interested, let me know. But yeah, you got this door here. That is a great feature, folks. I think they came out with that first on the Keystone Passport, but uh, Cougar people stole that idea. Good for them. Look at that. You got a 200-watt solar panel up there on the roof. Part of that Solar Flex 200 package it includes a uh, solar charge controller. You got the Air 360 wine guard system right there. That is for Wi-Fi. You got the 4G uh, digital antenna. Look at all those windows. That's RV luxury. When we get inside, you'll be able to see outside. You got the uh, power stabilizers right there. You can see that right there. You don't have to do any hand cranking. That's your water heater over there. Little docking station. So this one, it has a uh, solar plug for a Zamp. You can do an auxiliary solar panel. Suitcase solar, Zamp solar. If you're in the shade and you want to put something out in the sun, you could do that. You just plug it in right there, get some auxiliary power. I think I'd recommend that before buying a second solar panel. Although it is pre-wired for additional solar up on the roof. You'd have to change out this solar charge controller, but this one works 200 watts is a lot. It'll keep you charged up going down the road. Look at that. Automatic leveling. You didn't see that. Right out of the way where it won't get banged up. Got that slam latch there. A couple of 30 pound propane tanks keep you uh, keep you in propane for a while. Plenty of propane. The battery's not in there. A little cloudy today. So we're gonna go inside. Yeah, the solar, these lights are working just off solar power, but the, you can see how efficient it is, even in the, with it being cloudy, there's still some light coming on. These are wired differently than other RVs. They don't just charge the battery. You're actually uh, getting electricity straight to these LED lights. This is, this is a nice floor plan. Cougars are very nice inside. Now, you know what I'm going to show you first? I'm going to show you a pantry. Everybody wants a nice pantry. Look at that. Or you're gonna hang your extra clothes up there. That's multifunctional. You got a couple of pantry shelves, which you need in an RV, place to hang up some clothes if you want to. So you can do whatever you want, but that's conveniently located by this master suite right here. I should say beautiful master suite, but I've already said beautiful enough times, so luxurious. Wow, look at the luxury. You've got the uh, wardrobes with mirrors on them. Just looking at the bedroom first. We normally don't, but hey, why not? You got these uh, emergency exit on each side. It's also a window. You got a window in the front. The blind is down right now. But you have a uh, USB and 110 plug on both sides of this one. You can plug in a CPAP machine, little table there for it. Let your cat sleep right there. Whatever you got. You got a ferret? You can bring your ferret. You never, if you have a ferret, leave me a comment. Tell me about your ferrets. I'm interested. There's a place to plug in the TV and the TV backer. It's got this pocket door here. That's the most, uh, that's the best way for, best type of doors in an RV for bedrooms. You got a screen there, screen door so you can uh, 
enjoy some of that beautiful outdoors get the nice breeze so I'm gonna close this pantry door now this uh, dinette right here there's a little uh, lever right here you just flip this over and this just goes straight down it goes down a little bit farther but it'll make into a bed you push it down take the cushions out push it down a little farther it makes into a bed it locks back in place just like that very easy to operate another cool feature on these uh, uh, on this dinette when you lift this up there is the opening right there you don't have a piece of wood the wood is built in right here on the bottom of this uh, seating area it makes it more sturdy and it is much more functional you don't have to sit there and uh, lift up the seating cushion and then uh, pick up a piece of wood and then uh, get grab your paper towels your other items winter clothes whatever you got down there you can put whatever you want down there contraband that's where you keep it right down there underneath the seat so you've got two storage areas like that we've got the uh, comfortable theater seating captain's chairs recliners whatever you like to call them with the uh, electronic controls right there looks like you got some uh, I that massages heated it's lit it's got to be plugged in for that that's on the 110 a couple of cup holders and this is directly across from your electric fireplace and big screen TV those beautiful cabinets nice hardware see these residential hinges in there deep storage area right up here above the TV you can put some stuff up there whatever you want to put there's some more storage here maybe you can put your uh, DVDs different things remotes so that is the entertainment system there and you do have a couple of speakers up here on this ceiling and notice this ceiling it has got a five inch radius it has got a curve to it that's uh, some more luxury right there it's really open if it went straight across it would seem more closed in so look at all these windows the high ceiling for lots of headroom and openness I don't know if openness is the word I would choose, but it's okay. You know what I'm talking about. Look at that fridge. So the fridge is going to open towards the kitchen side, so I know which side to grab. That solar panel will keep this fridge going as you're going down the road to your destination before you plug in. If you can't plug in, you might get an extra battery. Do some boondocking. It'll come with one battery. You could upgrade it to say AGM or lithium or something like that. I guess the oven light is on. Just turn that off and uh, see the cooktop, microwave, all standard RV stuff. Got drawers over here, stainless steel sinks. There's some more pantry space up here. So you got plenty of storage in this one. You can put the, uh, let's see, there is a plug up here for your coffee pot. You can put your coffee pot right here. Make you some, brew up some coffee. Hey, while I'm over here, you got this in-command system. Uh, on, with this, you can download an app to your phone, control your slide outs, your awnings, your lights, your HVAC, that's air conditioning and heating. Uh, check all your levels, your tanks, uh, your uh, electric levels and your battery, your solar charging and so forth. You can keep track of it right there on your phone, control everything. You turn your awning light on, you're sitting out there at your campground. Just pull out your phone, you can open and close the awning. Uh, if you're putting your slide out, you want to see what's going on, you don't want to hit anything, you can do that from outside. No problem, just use your phone. That is what everybody's doing these days. Look at these corner bunks. 74 inches, and uh, that's 6'2", and it's wide. You can put a couple of kids in here, no problem. You can put a couple of adults in here. You know, it depends who's visiting. If it's too crowded, they could buy their own trailer, but they're, you've got room for them. If they're, they're not too particular. Two adults could fit in here. Privacy right there with the curtain. That's nice. You got a little ladder here. You don't have to do any uh, gymnastic climbing to get up there. Now that is some nice corner bunks right there in this Cougar. And then it's got a, uh, you know, I think I showed you outside. This picks, you lift this up right here. Look at that aluminum construction under there. Get this area here. You could put a kayak in here. This locks into place. There's a place to lock it in. Uh, it is a, a little latch there that locks right by that door so you can do it when you're outside. It's more convenient there. But you can put a kayak right in this space right here if you wanted to. 
do some fishing. I can't guarantee you'll catch anything. I have mixed results, but it's a lot of fun to have that option. You put your bikes in there, your scooter, your three wheel scooter, electric e bike, e trike, whatever you got. Uh, you know, I say scooter, not anything with an engine because it's not it's not ventilated in here, so I'm not advocating that type of uh, that you would put that in there. So look at that faux marble decor, and you've got a little bathtub there. You can give your dog a bath. You can soak your feet. Sit right here at the seat of honor and soak your feet at the end of a long, hard day of RVing. I don't know if you'll get sore feet, but if you do, why not? All right, so I, need, I guess I had a little coffee this afternoon. Out here in Houston, Texas, I'm Duke. Here in the Houston, Texas area, Waller County, we're west of Houston. We're at Holiday World of Katy. That's Katy, Texas. And does it matter where you buy your RV? Is it just about price? Well, we'll we're going to be competitive on price. We need to be a top volume dealer without being competitive. But the idea is that we don't have any of those silly, tricky fees that we're going to add in tell you the price and then add in the tax title license and then the little tricky fees that some of these dealers are putting in there with uh, call them dealer prep fees charging for freight all that's in the price we pay the freight it's included in the price we're not going to charge you for it twice we're not going to charge you extra for a battery the battery's included i'm not going to put a fee on there for putting propane in there prep that is part of the deal folks and we're going to deal with you in a straightforward manner. I'm going to give you all the all the details. When you get here, if you if you like this one, you want to make a deal on it. When you get here, just a matter of signing the paperwork. You'll have all everything disclosed in advance. Got anything to put in here? You know what you could use these for? Put some shoes in there. Keep shoes right down there. You come in with your slippers, kick off your shoes, put your slippers on, your house shoes, whatever you want to call them sandals we'll track a bunch of mud in here yeah we don't have a bunch of shoes here at the entryway uh, not really room for shoes in there you don't want to put shoes in there we'll put your food but yeah come in here we'll go through this RV with you we'll spend a couple of hours if that's what it takes answer all your questions inside out we'll show you how everything works we'll show you it works how to operate everything you'll have my contact information I will make a reservation for you in our full hookup campground. You have water, sewer, and electric. And we're going to, uh, I'll be your host. You'll be my guest here. You'll be a guest of Holiday World. Need any uh, adjustments, any concerns addressed? Let us know. We will come out and take care of it at the campsite when you leave. It'll be uh, a good experience for you. That's the goal. Customer service. People talk about it, but they, they don't always, they don't have the commitment to it. So that's my pledge. I want you to be happy. I want to be happy. And I'm not going to be happy. If you leave out of here and you're not happy, I will not like that. It will not be good for me. I want to hear good stories. I want to hear about your camping trips. Thank you for viewing this RV. My name is Duke. I'm here at Holiday World at Katy. And my, my phone number is 281 four six seven zero six five nine i'll put it in the description below and i look forward to hearing from you and if you see any other rvs on my channel or if you if you're interested in this one just let me know send me a text thanks for uh, tuning in thanks for watching this whole video and uh, go ahead and hit the thumbs up button if you feel like it that's the emergency exit a little wired up today hey thank you very much appreciate you uh viewing my video look at all those windows